Hello Travelers, Boardman21 here, and today we're going to discuss the new Primalist models that got teased to us that will be coming in 8.3. We're going to discuss some of the things that they had to say about it, then we're going to go over some of the pictures that look towards the new models versus the old, a little snippet side by side, just so you can see exactly what the differences are. Character models are one of the oldest assets we currently have in the game. Over the years, we have learned a lot about asset creation, and we believe our newer models reflect that. That would be in regards mostly to the Rogue, which is one of the newer classes, but still over a year old. As we progress, we have the opportunity to give our older assets a second look. We recognize that the character model is the centerpiece for players and the game. It is always on the screen, so it is very important for the character to look and feel good. In patch 8.3, the Primalist will be the first character to receive an entirely new model, which is awesome. Lots of people have been waiting for this. It's going to make the game feel so much better playing with a character that feels better to play. It looks better to play is more... I think the word I'm looking for is like responsive, but it's basically going to feel less clunky and more clean and it's just going to feel smoother and better. So the Primalist new model. The Primalist's new model has an increased poly count to better support the shapes. And if any of you are wondering what a poly count is, basically it's the number of polygons in the actual model of it. And if you're wondering what a polygon is, that's something that has three or more sides. So you've got at least three angles in it, basically a triangle or bigger square rectangle octagon pentagon you can go up as high as you want but it's the more of those that you have in a model which gives it more bending and moving points which is going to make it move and feel much smoother the problem with going with more of these is that the more of them you have the more that it takes to render the character and so i think a reason why they haven't gone with a higher poly count especially in the early days was it was going to you know increase the performance issues that we were having but they go on to say, thanks to recent performance improvements, we are confident this won't cause issues for players. So the game should still run just as good as it is or better, and we'll get a much smoother, better looking character on top of it. You'll notice the character proportions have been updated quite a bit, especially the legs, because the additional topology follows the muscles in different shapes better. The textures were completely redone from scratch to match a more realistic style and increase the overall quality of the character. The hair and the beard were also recreated using much more advanced technology. You can see the new Primalist model in the image below. So let's go ahead and compare the new image versus the old image. So here you can see that from the front side view, it definitely looks much better than the old. So on the left side, we got the new, and on the right side, we got the old. And as you can see, much more detailed. You can see definition inside of, you know, the pecs, inside of the armor, inside of the hair, the beard. Everywhere you can see details, and if you look on the right side at the old model, it's more of a blur. You can see there's definitely less polygons as you would in there. It's less smooth, it's more just flat and blurred, and you can see that with everything. The wolf doesn't have fur, it just it just all blends together, and now there's going to be that definition difference. You can also see that the proportional styles of him have changed, even his posture has completely changed. And then some other things I just wanted to point out in this picture, although I'm just speculating on a lot of this. It looks like they have new axe artwork coming in. This is the old artwork. This is actually currently in game right now. This is where I got the snippet of this. We have the Taste of Blood in his right hand, which would be on our left. And then we have the Undisputed, which almost looks exactly identical except for the red blood coming off of it. And these you can see way more detail inside these axes. So we got a whole sword update on the last patch in 8.2. I'm wondering if the axes will come in 8.3 or if they'll come later. We do know that all the weapons are getting a, a changeover here shortly or in the future. Hopefully these come with it because they do look much better than what we currently have. But everything about him looks good. I mean, I really like the way they're using a lot more animal pieces in it. You can see we've got a skull, we've got horns, we've got what either could be horns or bones being used as spikes all over his armor, all over his body plate, his chest, his hips, his legs, all of it. So he's looking a lot more barbaric, I almost want to say, although he's not a barbarian in the sense. He's a primalist. He has other options. He can transform. He can, you know, summon minions and companions. However... He does look like our Barbarian. Dual welding, powerful beast. I like the new model. Uh, let's get him from a couple different angles here. 
from a slight turn to his left, you can see that he has completely changed in his posture. Much more full in the chest, much bigger, much, I, I don't even know what the exact word, but he's much more filled. You can definitely see it, and it's not just in the high chest area where he almost loses his entire neck. Here you can see we have skinniness with just the big arms, but in his legs as well. Much more powerful looking legs, hard to see here under the armor, but much thicker overall in the entire body form where we have skinny legs on our primalist as is now. And again, just super menacing with all the different animal parts and spikes and bones that are completely over him. And again, you can see the high detail, even the different blends of shades in his skin to wrinkles to the hair. Everything is much more noticeable. If you look at the old Primalist, you can tell it looks plastic. And if you know the, the biggest thing you can usually tell in the game, if you look at the Werebear and you look at the Werebear model, he looks plastic. And it's one of the reasons why I'm super excited for the new transformations is how much more real that they look. But you can tell this is a much better character model and it looks so much more real and I can't wait to play with a character that just feels and looks more real to play. Let's get one last look from the backside. And then from here on the backside, you can really tell the posture has changed. You can tell that his legs and everything is more center of gravity, whereas our old one, you could tell his legs almost looked like they were having a hard time holding up his upper body. His knees were always very, very bent. You know, he was kind of ready to lunge into battle, you could say, or leap into battle. But overall, I like the new stance. He's cocked, he's ready to go, he's holding his weapons, he looks more natural. And again, here you can definitely tell from the backside he has much thicker legs, much bigger base compared to the old scrawny primals that we have. Overall, super like the details, I hope speculating but in the back i can see a different hair model that we have here he has two ponytails or or dreads whatever you want to call them it looks i'm really hoping in the future that we can change the hairstyle of our primals in the character select screen so customization would be something cool and i'm wondering if this is going to play a part with with the different armor sets that you wear or maybe even cosmetics in the future again speculating on that but it is nice to see that the hair is more of the person and in the old primals it just all got covered you never saw anything no sort of hairdo or anything you just had the helmet covering everything i assume helmets will still cover his head but maybe the hair will poke out from below if you have say the ponytails all right, continuing on down to the very last bit of the post, we got the new armor set. So of course, with a new model, your armor is gonna have to fit to the new body. Time to get some new armor sets in as well to really take advantage and make it look the best that it can, especially on reveal. So we got some new armor sets. We understand visual progression is an important aspect of making the game feel satisfying. And while we are working on it, there are still opportunities for us in the space. Currently, many of our armor sets are just recolors of a few armor models, but we have plans to change that. In patch 8.3, Primalist will get a completely new armor set fitting the brutish nature of his character. Moving forward, you'll see us adding more and more armor sets into the game, not just for Primalist, but for other characters as well. Many are already in the pipeline, and we can't wait to show you what we have in store. And then we got a few clips of the artwork here. You can see their inspiration, what they're working off of. But you can definitely see there is a much bigger thematic change and, and difference in visual appearance of the Primalist. You went from somebody who was wearing bones but a chest plate mostly uncovered, had a lot of flesh showing. And now you have somebody who's much more covered and spiky and barbaric. And it just looks much better using, you know, the kills that he's had to make his armor pieces to make them more threatening, to make him look visually more aggressive and deadly. I really like the, the way they're going with the Primalists. Really like the concept art they have here. I think it's going to look really good. We got another picture here you can see with his armor set on. They do have the helm. You can see here, and this is why I mentioned the ponytails earlier, the ponytails are gone. So I'm curious. I'm curious if like there's going to be options. Maybe not right away, but down the road, maybe. Or maybe if you just put on a helmet, the ponytails naturally just disappear. I don't know. But I thought that was kind of a funny thing that I ran into, that he had ponytails before, ponytails gone. And then uh, the last picture that we have here is an in-game screenshot. Now, keep in mind that the first two pictures that we had were 3200 megapixels by 1440. They were 4K pictures. And this one is only 1000 by 512. It's barely HD. I'm not sure why this picture wasn't uploaded as a much bigger file. However, so it's going to look a little blurry, but you can see that he does look much better in the set. It looks kind of foggy as we're looking at it here. We didn't get a crystal clear. Maybe that was on purpose to not let us fully see what it's going to look like yet. But you can definitely see more details. Even as, as low quality as this picture is, you can definitely see better details. The only thing that I noticed back to the original is that this axe doesn't look updated. So 
uh, it's it's hit or miss with the axes i think i think we might not be able to speculate on that too much but i do like the way that he looks right here much more covered much more bare barrack and i just like the spikes the bones coming off i know some people aren't fans of the huge shoulders you know like from diablo 3 but overall i don't think it's too much i think it looks good what are your guys' thoughts you guys like it don't like it ex excited for it not excited for it let me know in the comments below and as always stay safe travelers